In this video, we're going to look at dividing complex numbers. We're going to start with a rather basic example, one that's very straightforward, and then we're going to encounter one that's a little harder and say, okay, if only there was a way that we could turn that problem, make it look like the one we had done previously, then dividing wouldn't be so hard. So we begin with this example. 2 minus 7i over 8. So here we're dividing by a real number. Because we're just dividing by a single number, we can distribute that single number through into each numerator. And then we can just follow through and simplify. 2 over 8 is the same as 1 4. 7 over 8i. 7i over 8 is the same as 7 over 8. And then we're done. We have the answer 1 fourth minus 7 eighths 7 eighth i. So the result is the form of a complex number, and so we're done. We're going to use the same exact idea as we approach one now that's a little bit more complicated. Except our goal is going to be okay, how do we get it to look like this one? So consider the problem. Three minus four i over five plus six i. And as we look at this, we say, how in the world are we going to manage to do this problem? And so we just start thinking about that. And then we say to ourselves, If only the denominator were nicer, we'd be okay. But the denominator's not nice. As we they would say it's ugh, it's ugly. But if you remember from the last video, when you multiply a complex number times its conjugate, that turns it into a real number. And so, what we're actually going to do is multiply both the top and bottom by the conjugate of that 5 plus 6i. That way, when we multiply it out at the bottom, we'll actually get a real number. When we multiply it out at the top, well, we're multiplying two complex numbers, so we'll get some complex number. That will then give us a problem that is like the one in the numerator. So let's begin. 3 minus 4i times 5 minus 6i. All right, and we just flow that out. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 would be minus 18i. 4 times i times 5 would be minus 20i. And then we finally multiply 4i, negative 4i, and negative 6i, get 24i squared. Now remember, i squared is a negative 1, so that 24i squared is going to be 24 times a negative 1. So it's going to be minus 24, so we have 15 minus 24, be a negative 9, and then we have negative 18 minus 20, be minus 38i. Okay, so keep a hold of that for a moment. We'll come back to it. And so then we go to the bottom. 5 plus 6i and 5 minus 6i. We multiply those out. Again, that's going to be a difference with squares. So 5 and 5 is 25. 6 and 6 would be minus 36i squared. But remember, i squared is a negative 1, so that's going to make that 25 plus 36. And you can add those up. 25 plus 36 is going to be 61. Okay, so that's going to be our denominator. And so then putting it all together, we now have negative 9 minus 38i all over 61. Right, and then we 
go through and we simplify. We can just break that apart. Negative 9 over 61 minus 38 over 61. I. Last thing we would do is, if we could, is uh, reduce. There's nothing to reduce here, so that's our answer. And so that's going to be the process that we're going to use when we divide by a complex number. Is we're going to want to multiply by the conjugate of that denominator and do that in both top and bottom. 